Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions from the worlds of TV, film, pop culture, news, lifestyle, music, sports, everything really. Depending on the guests, we talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Meliotis. On social media, you know me as Petey Beats. My guest will star in a horror film, a reboot for that matter, of Wrong Turn, which is coming out very, very soon. He will be playing Luis. We are with Adrian Favela. Adrian, welcome to Pop Turnative, man. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. I mean, I'm excited about, like, so I, I watched the film, and I loved it. I'm excited for what people are going to think about it. I mean, it's just an exciting time. I mean, wrong people, like, horror movie junkies love the wrong turn movies. This is a different adaptation. This is going to be a different a different kind of spin on what they expect, but it's just exciting to see this right. movie come out, right? <laughs> yes. I'm just really excited. I mean, what? So I need to know. Let's go back to like casting and the opportunity. I mean, you know, some people are into horror movies, some people aren't. When you kind of got this opportunity to be in Wrong Turn, the new Wrong Turn film, what was kind of going through your head? What was the familiar familiarity with the genre? What was that all like for you? So I was originally already a horror fan, yeah. Um, but I had gotten this script, and it was definitely one of the hardest scripts I'd ever seen. <laughs> Um, I mean, we're obviously, you know, filming in like tight spaces and the script had so many like contraptions and snakes and like jumping thing, like things from here and there. And it was crazy. And I was like, oh, my God, how am I going to pull this off? <laughs> <laughs> I had coach with my amazing coach, Tamar Perry, and we just went for it. We just like went with our imaginations, made up everything, jumping from there and there. And a couple of days later, I, I found out I was pinned for it and then later booked it. And it was a really cool, fast experience for me. <laughs> so we're not going to go into full kind of spoilers and details, but there, there's trailers on social, there's trailers out, and there's some like early kind of reviews and stuff. I mean, this is wrong turn. The concept and the kind of the skeleton of what the like the original movies are are there, but it's going to be a lot different as well. It's going to be a different ride. Right. I mean, we do bring a more human monster yeah. to the story. And we also have like little like sub monsters, you know, we deal with things like homophobia and racism throughout the film, which is a real monster in real life. Yeah. You know, I think some of those horrors brought into that idea of wrong turn. Yes. You know, really makes it more scary because it's plausible, you know? Absolutely. But it's like, it's, it, it, if, when you think of like, like if we, if I come up to you and like, Adrian, let's list like 10 of like the first like horror movies that come to mind. Right. I mean, rock turns in there. I mean, it's an iconic yeah. series. Right. I mean, it was the highest grossing film, uh, horror film of that time. Yeah, absolutely. So to be kind of doing this project, I'm sure you said you liked horror. Um, what was kind of the reception like? Of, what was kind of the reaction like of your family and friends when you, you found out you were getting this role? Like, were they like, did they know? Like, I mean, yeah, like, I, there's, there's going to be a lot of stuff in that that your parents or your family is going to watch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so my mom uh she's supposed to find out she is not a fan of horror and she was like adrian do you really want to do this <laughs> i want to do this this is going to be amazing and i mean later down the road i mean we see such brutal things and i'm like oh my god mom i don't know if you should watch this but she's like i'm so proud of you now <laughs> it's crazy you know? for people that are going to watch the movie you play louise um right. and you know you're, I mean, like, again, it's hard, right? Because I don't want to, like, get into it and everything. We're big we're big horror movie nerds, so I feel like we're just going to get into it. But Luis is around. Let's just say that, right? You're around. Do you know what I mean? You're, you're with, you're around. <laughs> um, what was that like preparing for a role like that, playing Luis with everything going on and the different kind of, the different kind of things that kind of happen throughout the whole film? I mean, when I had read the script, it was, you know, it flipped a lot of things on its head. Yeah. Luis is almost the token scream king, whereas, like, our females are so strong and powerful throughout. Yes. You know what I mean? So reading that, I was just like, oh, this is amazing, and I definitely want to be a part of it. But preparing, you know, is just like finding those gut-wrenching things inside of yourself that you can bring to the character. Which, Absolutely. 
you know, that was a big challenge, but, you know, you know, I stepped up, tried my best. It, it's one of those things too, where, you know, I'm, I'm, like I'm born in 1991, so I'm I'm about I'm 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 turning 30 very soon. I can't like I can't believe I just admitted that, but yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm getting old. Um, but uh, I feel like I hit a wall when I was about like 22, 23 years old, or even a bit later after that, where my idea of a good time wasn't going kind of going out to like a bar and like drinking with buddies and stuff my idea of a good time is just staying at home playing video <laughs> games and watching horror movies with my friends right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean and i feel like that's kind of what made me like gravitate towards the genre the kind of like it's a bit difficult now with the pandemic but like the communal aspect of like getting together and watching a film is it safe to say that the horror genre on top of it being kind of unbelievable with the filmmaking and the script writing but everything Horror movies are great for like the communal thing as well. Right. I mean, I definitely agree. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, just the whole aspect of the film, you know, I mean, even the fans for this film, yes. I mean, keep in mind, like people are huge fans of Roland Turn. I, you know, I get tons and tons of DMs, you know, asking about things, you know, as much as horror films are like big, scary things, they actually bring a lot of people together. And, it, you know, it really inspires people, you know, artistically like emotionally all kinds of ways have you noticed though that there's been kind of a horror boom especially in the last five years you look at films that came out from like 2015 2016 and on and the amount of just kind of quality horror films out there is just yeah. unbelievable it's unbelievable i mean even like you know like it you know like bringing in those huge horror movie budgets i mean i feel like before they didn't have such huge budgets such great stories as much as now, I mean, they're going like forefront, you know, bringing in like really big stars, you know, like really bringing it to us. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy to see. And I look at like, the, I, I'm telling you right now, like, you know, we'll, we're gonna, I'm, ex I'm interested to see what the consensus is going to be about this film, because again, horror movie fans love the original stuff too. Right. And, you know, a lot of horror movie fans, I can tell you right now, they don't gravitate towards change, but naturally, you know, this is, this is different. Um, I think it's a good different. I think it kind of really like certain things in this movie, like punch you right in the face in terms of like, Oh man, like, I don't know what is going on right now. This is insane. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think that's it. Do you think that's kind of some of the things that you're hoping people get from the film on top of kind of enjoying kind of a horror movie, but kind of, there is some stuff in it. That's just kind of like, Whoa, like it makes you go, Whoa. It does. I mean, I, you know, with this film, it's like the way Mike directed it and the way that Alan wrote it, it's just, it falls into so many sub genres. You know what I mean? We have the huge horror, you know, umbrella, but then we start falling into like these like little like dramas, you know, that are really intense, which are like, you know, real human emotion, which makes it even more scary because you actually start to care, Absolutely. you know, about going on instead of just being like oh jill died and then we run away it's just like you know we actually you know see what the the characters are going through you know and that's i think what makes this film super super unique and different than you know the original films but i i but you know what let's be honest too right like there are the other side of our conversation though is there are elements of the of the like this film, like the 2021 wrong turn, that do have the the feelings of a classic kind of horror movie as well, which is also what I like the voted too, right? Like the mix of both. Yeah. I think it was like a great balance. And yeah. I definitely the gore in this film is pretty I mean the practical effects that we got to see were insane, you know? It's pretty exciting that because like a lot of horror movies is kind of like the dinner party gone wrong. The hike, the hike got wrong. The party gone wrong. That's that's what it is. Literally, that's like what every script kind of starts. Six six kids, six teens go for a hike. <laughs> like <laughs> who returns? We don't know. <laughs> but like, I just feel like you know the trailer came out right. You're kind of in the trailer. Obviously, you're part one of the six. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool to think that like. 
a lot like horror movies can have like an ensemble cast like they do where the love is really kind of spread where there's like six of you in this horror film yeah i mean it was great i mean you really get to see like different stories and different you know aspects because we're obviously not all the same no so starting to like see like how would different people really react in these kind of situations which is really interesting and i mean you've gotten to see the film we get put in these really like tough situations where you're just like oh who is right and who is wrong in this situation you know who's a real monster you know yes <laughs> absolutely yeah no for sure <laughs> <laughs> you know why i'm laughing right now um <laughs> but um yeah absolutely it, it kind of makes you think you know what i mean but again it's not horror right but i think that's kind of why like cobra kai is really popular too because they took kind of something that existed where like in cobra kai and karate kid right Daniel LaRusso was like the good guy winning the tournament and then Johnny Lawrence was the bad guy at Cobra Kai and then there's some moments in Cobra Kai where it's kind of flipped a little bit where like yeah. the person who was like the good guy is actually the bad guy or like <laughs> other way around so I find that's a good kind of comparison as well um not only horror movies in terms of acting and kind of creating something and being a storyteller and being on screen what is your favorite thing about being a storyteller Adrian you know my absolute favorite thing is in the, essentially what it is is a bunch of strangers who have crazy imaginations coming together and making this amazing make-believe world, you know? And we all get to like join in and create this from nothing. It's all something from a page yeah. and, you know, just display something incredible for an audience. And I think that's my favorite, most absolute favorite thing about this industry. Is it weird sometimes, kind of especially with Wrong Turn, where there's a lot of kind of insane things that happen in it? You know what I mean? Obviously, effects and everything. And, you know, you're shooting it, and then you kind of watch the playback, and you're like, damn, like, I didn't think it was going to look like this. Like, that happens a lot, I feel like, in horror as well. Yeah, I mean, we have some brutal kills that are actual practical effects where we saw bodies, which were really intense. Um, I mean, there's some smashing scenes that... I saw that in real life and you almost feel like it's real for a second because you're in that imaginary world and then you see a body do something crazy and you're like, oh, oh my God, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm just kind of thinking of some of the scenes. It's brutal. Again, I don't want to like, I don't want to get into, people are going to see it. It's exciting. Um, can you tell us a little bit about, I mean, there's a Fathom event coming out, like, like, like it's coming out, like they're going to be able to see the film soon. Right. So on January 26th, the film will be in theaters. I just saw that they made a second date on January 30th. So this is, it's a Tuesday and a Saturday. So, I mean, it's definitely a film that you want to see on the big screen. You definitely want to be enveloped by all the sounds and the nature and everything that happens in this film. You just, you want to see it big. Absolutely. And it's just, I'm telling you, like this movie would have been in, in, in current times, you know, in, in, like in past times where we can go. I mean, like I could just picture me and my friends just kind of Friday night going to see Rock Turn. Like, damn, you know what I mean? COVID. <laughs> oh, <no> COVID. <laughs> um, Adrian, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turnative, man. I really appreciate it. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. So where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? Sweet. Yeah. Follow me on Instagram at Adrian Richard Favela. Yep. And you can find me posting like cool behind the scenes and little trailers and such. Yeah. And uh, hopefully everyone watches Wrong Turn and enjoys it, man. I, I'm really ha I, I really loved it, man. I'm really hoping people love it as much as I did. I just I also thought it looked amazing. Like it was shot beautifully. You got like, they did a great job. Yeah. <laughs> which yeah. is awesome. Do you kind of look, I mean, the cinematographers, I feel like are the unsung heroes of everything, man. Like they do such a good job. I know. Uh, Nate Junkersfield just really killed it. I mean, the quality of the film, you're just like, whoa, you know? Yeah. It's like very, very cin like cinematic. Amazing. Well, this has been PopTurnative, youtube.com slash PopTurnative for previous episodes. Be sure to catch Adrian Favela in Wrong Turn, which will be available soon. Until next time, this is Adrian Favela and Petey Beats signing off.
Thank you for tuning in to Poptternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Poptternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.